1955 case involved Mr. Farkas, who created a trust where he acted as both settler and trustee. This was an inter vivus or living trust, as it transferred title to the property he held before his death. The beneficiary was his assistant at work. Mr. Farkas's family claimed the instrument was a failed will, but they were unsuccessful in their attempt to take the property under the state's interstate statute. The court held that what Mr. Farkas created was indeed a valid trust and was not testamentary, a will, in nature. The property went to Mr. Farkas's assistant, the trust beneficiary, instead of to his heirs. Today such inter vivos trusts are widely used in estate planning. They have several benefits over wills, including the ability to bypass the lengthy probate process.